the bento like it's hopscotch My nigga in the kitchen and he whipping in the pot Hey guys, Kali TV here and we are back again with another episode for our tech series This time around, we have the Razer Naga Chroma And before we proceed, I would like to give a huge shout out to our sponsor for this video Mr. JP Uban Thank you sir for passing this amazing Razer mouse to me And we'll do our best to make use of it Just a brief background, this mouse was bought in the year 2016 by the previous owner and until now is working but with minor issues. That being said, today we are going to fix these issues and to look for work around and see if it solves the problem. So the Razer Naga Chroma that we have right now has the following issues. The left click is not working. The DPI buttons are not working. And the scroll wheel is not working. These problems require us to open the mouse and diagnose what's inside. For the first problem, the left click is not working. The Razer Naga Chroma uses Omron switches which are located in this part. There are multiple things that may cause these buttons to be unresponsive, either dirt clogging, dead switches, and many more. But in this case, the switches are working perfectly fine. When I tried to test the buttons, I have noticed that the left click seems to lack the length of its key to reach the Omron switches. As I work around, I attached a piece of material to it so when we try to push it, it will not only reach the switches but also add force to the push. Make sure to use a reliable adhesive to make sure that the material is attached in place and in a firm condition. On to our next problem. The DPI buttons are not working. Earlier, when we opened the mouse, I saw that the wiring attached to the DPI button which connects to the motherboard of the mouse is no longer connected. These wires are responsible for the communication from the buttons to the motherboard and since it is no longer connected, it renders the DPI buttons unresponsive. So how should we fix this? Well, you have various of options. You can either buy a desoldering set and connect the wires again, or you could go to the local shops which offer soldering services. Alternatively, you can try what I did. Since the ECQ and GCQ is still imposed in our community, there's no hope for me on buying or ordering desoldering sets. The time to wait is way too long. So, what I did is manually set the DPI setting of the mouse to a fixed value using the Razer Synapse software. This workaround takes more time than using DPI buttons when changing the DPI setting, but at the very least, it does not take too much time. Less than a minute is enough. Last problem we have is the scroll wheel which is not working. Here's my workaround for this issue. Install the Razer Synapse and bind the scroll wheel functions to the side buttons. In my case, I've binded number 2 key for scroll down and number 3 for scroll up. These are some of the advantages we get from a fully programmable mouse. Second, when we open the mouse, we test these buttons located at the front side of the mouse. If you test and press the right key, you'll see that it will scroll up. On the contrary, if we press on the left key, you'll see that it will scroll down. The problem here is that the communication when the scroll wheel is being pressed or used does not reach these keys. This leads to our second workaround for our second issue. Instead of scrolling the wheel, we will be pushing it to the sides. 
right for page up and left for page down. If this does not fix it, you can try and change the encoder for the mouse wheel. This white strap you see on the right side. I've seen straps sell on e-commerce sites such as eBay and Lazada at a low price. So this is worth the shot. And there you have it. Our 4 years old Razer Naga Chroma is now fixed thanks to our workarounds. Take note that these DIY solutions and workaround may not work for your problem and if you are experiencing the same issues like our Razer Naga Chroma here, you'll be able to find these steps as they fix. So what do you think guys? Did these steps help you? Please do comment down below if you have steps on your own which solve the issues stated here for our Razer Naga Chroma and I'll be sure to check them out. If you have made it this far of the video, thank you so much and please do click on the like button below. Hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon for notifications on videos like this. Share the video so we can spread our work around. This has been Khalid TV. See you on the next video.